Greetings, my friends. LTK here. We're doing more knife testing. We've got Kubi Steel Wheel in the house. We're going to check them out right now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Let's talk. Let's get this thing settled. We've got Kubi knives. Yes, we do. So, mm, interesting. You know, traditionally, Kubi has been a rebrander. And so you can find some CH knives rebranded with the Kubi brand, this and that. But Kubi has now decided they're going to do some original stuff that they're going to make. And not just take knives that are made and rebrand them, but actually make themselves. So that's what this is all about. This is the 200 Ti. This is the 153, I believe. I'm trying to keep them. The KU 153. So these are titanium frame lock folders with S35VN steel blades. This one is G10 with D2, supposedly, right? And of course, we got the Steel Wheel Intrigue D2. Just got these back out of the test box. And the little cut jack in D2 as well. Now, let's start off with the easy stuff. So the Steel Wheel Cut Jack D2 is real, HRC is 61.3, and we will have a slideshow after this where I'm going to show you the actual dial in, you know, the reading of the Rockwell testing and also the XRF analyzer coming up against the blades and or the handles appropriate with the titanium stuff doing the readings there. Okay. So here you go, TS, it's D2, yes it is, certified, here's your elemental printout, and it's 61.3 HRC, yes it is. Now, and that's this little puppy, so it's all good in the neighborhood, like these little cut jacks, they're great little user knives. So what do you think about the Steel Wheel Intrigue? This is the larger one, and this is the one in gray. These are really good for piercing and a lot of slicing tasks. I didn't realize they'd be so handy. And of course, you will realize that these knives that get tested, they get the little divot of honor when they do the HRC testing. So that is included at no extra charge. Um, Steel Wheel Intrigue, D2 is real, HRC is 60 on this one, and as it says, D2, because their analyzer gun does read D2, that's in their software suite because they're fabricators and they work with D2. They don't work with these other funky knife steels like S35VN, M390, you know, all that. But they do work with D2, with tool steel. So they do have that in their software suite, so it does come up and actually give you the reading from this. Otherwise, these are just compared by the testing people with the elements of a known steel. So you get a Spyderco Sprint Run M390, you scan it, you scan, you know, the Tucson M390 knife, they match, then it's M390, okay? So that's how that's done later. Next, those are the two steel wheel knives. Now we're going to talk about this Kubi knife. And uh, Kubi's interested in getting their knives tested. They're making them. They're proud of them. This one, I, I really do like the design of this one. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a liner lock. I think this thing, I hate to repeat prices. No, I don't. Actually, I don't. Uh, but I think this one was around $22. So, interesting, got it, uh, I think, Amazon, and it's real D2 steel, but the HRC was low. So, I mean, I don't just pop this out on Kubi or anybody. 
I let them know what the results were because they're interested. Actually, they are interested in the results. And when I gave them the result of the HRC, they said, we're going to get back to the fabric or to the manufacturing plant people and go, we need to watch this. Okay. This needs to come up. So they were very happy. Obviously D2 steel, right? And here's your print out there. So, yeah, but the HRC was low. So, mm, that it's you know, it's not going to perform like a 60, right? But it is real D2 steel. So, it's not, uh, you know, hokum pokum and uh, bait and switch like it is on some knives that say, mm, well, I don't know. Let me think of a knife where it says D2, but it's not D2. Hmm. In any case, so they're not doing that. Thank God. All right, next, we're going to do the 153, and this is the 153. <laughs> they don't have, there's not a lot of billboarding on these things. And then you got their Dimple of Honor here, but this is S35VN. Kind of a crazy looking design, but this is their own original thing. I mean, now they got zipper pouches and stuff. I, really, this is nice, too. It's like, where the hell do you guys come from? Okay, so... And their own microfiber cloth and all this kind of stuff. It's like, whoo, okay. Man, this is just, uh, yeah, this is Rico Suave. Any case, so this is S35 with titanium. Supposedly, take a good look, titanium pocket clip. Actually accessible with your Torx on both sides. So, looks pretty decent. I don't think I've disassembled these. I will later when I actually do the review on these knives, these Kubi knives. Okay, so, the 153 is actual real S35VN steel. Yes, it is. And the HRC is 59.3. So, there you go. Ain't no lying there. Of course, it doesn't match their software suite because they don't have... The software for this in there you know and for a couple of thousand dollars you can get that <laughs> anybody got a little extra money i mean the, i think that xrf analyzer gun was uh back in 2014 when they bought it it was thirty six thousand dollars so if you want to buy a couple of them send me one that'd be fine otherwise i guess we're going to go with the low budget approach which is free and it's always good free is a great number i can work with that number so there we go there's your printout I, mean, I know i'm a little goofy but uh you know it's the holidays and hey this is good stuff though isn't it i like getting it oh now titanium okay so this did not it didn't hold a scan for ti6 uh, the grade is undetermined on this titanium. I talked to them about it, and I talked to Kurt, our tester guy, about it. I said, this is titanium, right? And he goes, yes, it's titanium. It's just the, the silicon coating interfered with the, with the scan. The TI-64 scan didn't hold through the entire scan. So if it doesn't hold, it'll come up no match. And he said this particular scales had a higher aluminum content than others that he's seen. Now, you can look at here and you can see the titanium here. So, yes, they're titanium. Now, I talked to Kubi about this as well or emailed him and they're looking into this. Their distributor that they buy from is very big and well-known titanium distributor so this shouldn't be an issue um and there's your second scan that he did of the 153 for the scales and there you go 79.894 just for your information so I, hey, okay real deal holy field uh, as far as i'm concerned yeah now the next one and last but not least, right, is the 200 Ti. Now, this one's blue anodized, so 
you know, when you start, uh, you know, electrically anodizing, um, it's pretty much going to lead you down the path of, yes, this is titanium. Okay, so here it is. And I, I like this knife. This is a real practical looking blade, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to messing with this some more. I kind of, when I got it, it went right out the door to testing. And now that it's back, I'm going to start spending some more time with it and see what I feel, take it apart, and, you know, this and that. In any case, the 200 Ti, right? And you can get these on Amazon. I'll give you the links to these Kubi knives because the other knives, I mean, you can get steel wheel stuff wherever you want. I'll give you the links that Kubi gave me in where to buy these knives. And you can check that out. Okay, so the 200 Ti is a real S35EN as compared to real S35 that I think, well, he's not only got that Spyderco brown sprint run, or not sprint run, but uh, it was an exclusive, I believe, that was uh, a limited run that had S35VN uh, blade steel. But I think several other S35s have come through as well. And so they all match up. So he knows the particular uh, recipe. Okay, so yes, it's real S35. HRC was 58.4. So not low, not overly high, but very acceptable. Okay. Then the scales. Well, here we go. Same deal. Same deal. Now, look down here. Titanium, 89 point. So, I mean, they didn't match to the TI-64 for the whole scan. And this, in this case, he said, a lower aluminum content um, than, than the TI-6 would normally be. Also... That silicon, whatever that coating is, I, it's driving me crazy when they go through that. But that's what that is. So, yes, is it titanium? Yes, it's titanium. And grade could not be, could not hold the scan. So it's not determined necessarily as TI-64. My guess, if I had to guess, since they're getting it from a very well-known distributor that's distributing titanium in there in that knife-making area of China, that they're probably getting the same stuff most the others are, and so it it should hold that scan. All right, we got the slideshow. Slideshow is on, my friends. And so we're starting out here with the Kubi knife in uh, G10, uh, G10 and D2 which is the KU-163. And the D2 was real, but the HRC just wasn't quite up to grade. It was a 56.3, as you can see right there. On that test, there's the knife. Next. Okay, so this is the Kubi, the 200 Ti, as you can see. And... 58.4 is what it ought to read according to the paperwork, and yes, it does. So there's the 200 Ti. This one's our cut jack, of course. And the cut jack was 61.3, and yes, it is. Absolutely. There's the Steel Wheel Intrigue, which looks like a dead-on 60, and that's what the paperwork says as well. This is our KU, Kubi KU-153Ti, okay? And so this is supposed to be 59.3, and yes, it does look like 59.3 right there. Here is the Steel Wheel Intrigue, and this is the scan on the blade, looking for a D2 reading, and it is reading D2, the other elements, apparently, and I think this is the uh, Kubi, uh, the scales, the titanium scales of the Kubi 200 Ti, the one with carbon fiber on it as well. This is the Kubi 153, or one, yes, 153, and... Uh, that's on the blade, so it does match the S35VN. Here's the blade 
of the Kubi 200 Ti Yes S35VN. The titanium scales, and here's that readout there. Titanium 79.89. This is the blade of the uh, cut jack, which shows D2 and the readout. That should be it for our slideshow. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Back on with the studio lights so we can see what the hell we're doing. In any case, we've got more knives coming in the future. We're going to keep going. Um, we're going to try and do a lot of different brands of knives. And we're going to check out some odd and unusual stuff. But we also want to do some mainstream stuff as well. And we're going to continue to do that. So uh, you can chat with me about that if you want. If you want to email me, lovethemknives at gmail.com. And put in any specific requests. The problem is I do not carry an inventory of knives. So it's not like, oh, uh, last year you reviewed this knife. Can you send that in for testing? Wrong. Don't have it. Most times I don't have a knife for much more than a month because I have a limited budget to buy more knives. I have to sell knives I have. So I'm, I'm a lousy collector. I'm a lousy collector. I'm a great enthusiast. I'm a lousy collector at this stage right now in my life. But I'm building my bucket list. Someday I might be dangerous. I might actually have a pretty good bunch of knives on hand. In any case, thank you so much for tuning in. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.